now I call the representative of the judiciary power in the United States of America. Mr. Chief Justice, Mr. Minister of Justice, Mr. Prosecutor General, distinguished hosts and guests. As the chair of the United States Judicial Conference Committee on International Judicial Relations and a United States District Judge, it is an honor to attend the second Marrakesh International Justice Conference. I offer my congratulations on behalf of the American federal judiciary to the government of Morocco for organizing this important event. I also offer my congratulations for the very impressive advances in judicial development that Morocco has undertaken in recent years. The development of Morocco's justice sector reform charter, the creation of its Supreme Council of the Judicial Power, the reforms undertaken in its office of the public prosecutor are all noteworthy accomplishments following the adoption of Morocco's 2011 constitution. The United States International Judicial Relations Committee, which I chair as a committee of the Judicial Conference of the United States, which is the chief policy-making body for the United States federal courts and is headed by the Chief Justice of the United States of America. The International Committee's mandate is to coordinate the federal judiciary's relationships with foreign judiciaries and to contribute to the establishment and expansion of the rule of law and the administration of justice around the world. In cooperation with other branches of the United States government, our committee works in collaboration with foreign judiciaries on judicial development programs. Many American judges travel around the world each year to further international judicial relations and the strengthening of the rule of law. In addition, Hundreds of foreign judges and prosecutors visit the United States federal and state courts to share knowledge and expertise with us, to discuss lessons learned and address shared challenges. No matter where you are in the world, judges and prosecutors share many common problems together. Our cooperation with foreign judiciaries covers a broad range of topics, including judicial independence, judicial ethics, case management, electronic case filing, and among many other topics, anti-corruption efforts. The United States has long been a partner of Morocco's in judicial development work. Our committee was proud to be present at the first international judicial conference held last year here in Marrakesh. Over the course of the many years of friendships between our two countries, the embassy in Rabat has cemented robust partnerships with the Moroccan judiciary. For example, the U.S. Embassy has worked with the Moro Moroccan Ministry of Justice to assess training needs, and the United States Department of Justice has coordinated with the Ministry of Justice here to develop counterterrorism training programs for Moroccan magistrates, prosecutors, and judges. Also, the National Center for State Courts which draws on a broad network of our state court judges, has an ongoing multi-year program to assist the Ministry of Justice in developing the management and leadership skills of key staff to build their capacity to design and implement reforms under the 2013 Judicial Reform Charter. Given this year's focus on justice and investment, our committee is pleased to collaborate on this visit with the Commercial Law Development Program of the United States Department of Commerce to contribute United States and international best practices to the workshop sessions, which we will have tomorrow. CLDP is currently active in more than 70 countries, providing government-to-government -government technical assistance to countries seeking to modernize their legislation in areas such as arbitration, intellectual property, bankruptcy, and franchising. However, as we, knew, as we all know, new laws by themselves cannot transform a country's investment climate without clear and consistent interpretation and application by its judiciary. Therefore, for more than 20 years, 
CLDP has collaborated with U.S. federal and state judges to lead judicial programs in more than 40 countries to share best practices and lessons learned with foreign judiciaries on the application of commercial civil laws. In Morocco, I had my, the personal privilege of doing so last year with, in cooperation with CLDP to speak at a conference in Casablanca with Moroccan judges, lawyers, and government officials on the importance of using technology to increase transparency and efficiency in the court system, and one of the workshops tomorrow will be addressing that issue again. This is a topic that is not only important for businesses, but for society as a whole, given the universal judicial principle that, as we just heard from the prior speaker, that justice delayed is justice denied. We were impressed with the progress that Morocco and other countries in this region have made in this area, and I look forward to expanding on this topic tomorrow, as I said, in the workshops. The specific one involved is the use of information technology. On behalf of the United States delegation, I want to thank you for the invitation given to us to participate in this very important event. I look forward to learning from the shared experiences and the best practices of the many judicial delegations represented in this important conference. And once again, I am honored to be here and thank you for the invitation.